Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to have some Division 16 online gameplay. And as you can see from the screen right now, before getting into the fight I'm going to get into, I think I'm ranked 100th in, in the world at the moment. So as you can see, I'm on the 17 title defence win streak. So I believe that's a 20 fight win streak in total. And we're going into a welterweight fight against a high level opponent. If you look at my opponent's banner there, He's been in Division 20 across Season 4, Season 3 and Season 2. So I knew this was going to be a very good fight. And before I picked my fight, I wanted to see who my opponent was going with. And he picked Tony Ferguson, which... Then I was thinking of using Gilbert Burns, but I was using Gilbert Burns a lot across the win streak. I mean, Gilbert Burns is my favourite well weight to use, so... I went with a slightly worse version of Gilbert Burns. I went with RDA who has some attributes better than Burns and I believe for a fight like Tony Ferguson RDA is a good matchup in the sense that those leg kicks can cause a real problem and my opponent's in Division 13, I'm in Division 16 but obviously where I know he's a high level player I need to be very very cautious going into this fight and I wanted to see in round one what sort of game plan my opponent was going to implement so we're starting off the fight I want to use leg kicks to because that's Tony's main weakness and straight away he goes for the leg lock the Yomari roll and I mean I have stamina I've had no damage so I knew I was going to get out of it but by my opponent doing this straight away I knew that I knew what type of fight this was going to be. I mean, my opponent's obviously a high-level fighter, and obviously he's been very successful in the past seasons. And just by doing that off the bat, it felt a bit cheesy to me. So I needed to be wary of that, and I also need to be wary of the submissions from the clinch because if my opponent's doing that, likely or not, he's going to look to submit me in the clinch as well. I mean, that's. What I'm coming up against a lot uh, throughout the win streak was people trying to submit me in the clinch. So I had to keep an eye on it. I knew what my opponent was going to do. I was trying to maintain distance. I believe Tony has the reach, so I need to be very careful. Tony also has a main in endurance, so I need to look to get my opponent to throw a miss in order to wear away my opponent's stamina. And I'm just going to remain patient and not panic if my opponent gets me in more submissions because... Ultimately, the way the fight's going, my opponent is going to get me in some sort of submission. So, as you can see here, I'm doing some basic boxing combinations, trying to utilise my leg kicks. And when my opponent gets in close, I'm damaging, hitting him with the uppercut, trying to damage him. And my opponent goes for the roll again, looking to submit me. And then, uh, here's when it really sunk in what sort of fight this was going to be. I mean, my opponent was going to be doing this consistently throughout the whole thing. And I was holding the right button to deny it just wasn't denying unfortunately so it was just something I had to deal with and as you can see luckily my submission defense is at a decent level so it was enough to get out and I end up on on top here and I'm going to stay on top for a bit look to do a little bit of damage I mean just by the way my opponent was fighting I knew he was going to be quite a cheesy fighter so I was waiting to see what other submissions he had in his arsenal and I knew that this fight wasn't going to be the most fun and I know mentally I was going to have to concentrate a lot because of the way my opponent was fighting and I know I need to keep my stamina high so based off the this round I know I'm going to need to keep my stamina in a good position and I'm going to need to watch out for these submissions because he's going to be throwing them often I'm, I'm assuming whenever he's in danger he's going to shoot one or whenever he feels like he's in an advantage he's going to try to do it as you can see there we get the knockdown I mean I knew he was going to throw something crazy, I ducked it perfectly and hit him with the hook. And based off that, round one is now mine because of the knockdown. So I'm just looking not to get knocked down here and not take any damage. Because I know that I've won that round, so I'm feeling very confident. And then he gets the stun here and then he gets the drop. So that's the worst case scenario, it's not what I was looking for at all. I was happy I got the knockdown and then bang he got the knockdown. But looking at the stats... I felt like that round was mine. I mean, it would have helped if um, Tony obviously didn't get the knockdown, but my opponent got the knockdown as well. So, even with that being considered, I believe that round was mine. 
So going into the next round, I was expecting more of the same thing. My opponent to be trying to catch me in that submission often. And it's just not a good fight style to fight against. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys have come up against opponents that do this constantly and constantly and constantly and try to wear away at you. It's, it's not fun. I mean, everyone can play the game however they feel to. And obviously some people like to abuse certain mechanics. And if I wasn't to the level I am at this game, this would have frustrated me a lot more than it did. And I'm sure that he beats a lot of players using this um, tactic, this fighting style. And I'm sure it's very frustrating. I mean, if you're someone that doesn't play the game very often and you've just jumped online and you're coming up against this, it's it's probably enough to put you off playing the game. So, yeah, as you can see, he's throwing these very wild combinations now, throwing leg kicks, and he's being a lot more aggressive. He's throwing that uh, spinning, spinning back fist, and that does so much damage, so I need to be careful not to get hit by that. He's throwing a lot of head kicks and bang, he hits me with it and then hits me with a knee and I was like, oh, I was like, yep, I was like, this is the exact way he fights. I mean, Tony's a very unorthodox fighter, so I suppose it's very realistic, but my opponent was picking combinations which he knew were overpowered and do a lot of damage, like the spinning back fist and he's going for the submission with the roll, so he knew what he was doing and he, he gave me a little taunt there to frustrate me, but I'm fine, I'm just remaining calm, I mean, it's a three round fight. I know eventually I'm going to catch him, so I'm just staying patient. Uh, really, I'm looking to keep my stamina at the highest level possible in order for me to prevent being submitted. And as you can see here, I'm hitting him with some good shots as well, trying to wear away his block and do some head health damage. And I'm just remaining calm because right now I think I still could finish the fight going into the end of this round or next round. However, just the way this is playing, I could feel like this is going to the decision, so I don't want to take too much damage this round, because he got the knockdown, it's already his round, and I don't want him to benefit greater by doing more damage to my chin. I mean, we all know that RDA doesn't have the best chin health, so I'm really trying to minimise that damage. And as you see there, we get a, again, he goes for that head kick and we sway beautifully. I mean, that was something that helped me out a lot this fight, was my prediction of the head kicks you saw that happen in the round prior and again it helped me there he sways hits me with a beautiful uppercut which ends up hurting me I then dodge his uppercut thankfully otherwise that would have resulted in a knockdown so this round I'd say has been my opponent so knowing knowing that at this point in the round like I said I'm trying to minimise my damage and I'm looking to control the whole of next round or get a finish next round because I believe right now I've won the last round so going into the next round it'll be round apiece my opponent's done so much damage and he hasn't gone for that submission and i wasn't sure if that's just because he felt comfortable on the feet or he was trying to trick me into thinking oh he's not going to go for that submission and next round bang he's going to go for it so if we're looking at the stats for round two it's definitely my opponents i'm looking at the stats again from round one just to get kind of a glimpse at is is that my round and going into round three one round each so this is going to be a very big round i've suffered some serious um head health damage but my opponents also suffered some head health damage so going into here i know that one of us needs to control the fight i need to win this round in order to win the fight i don't want to lose this losing streak and he goes for the submission straight away and i was like yep he's back with uh, the submission and as you can see, this time it's a lot closer, and I'm trying to stay calm. You know, I don't want to rush, I don't want to go the same way over and over. And then I'm hitting those buttons to do a bit of damage. As you see, we, we managed to get out of this one as well. And straight away I knew my opponent was going to do this throughout the round in order to control the round. Which is smart from him because he won the round prior, and he's doing this in order to get control time. And it looks good on the judges' scorecards, the further you go into a submission the only problem with that submission is I end up on top and if I utilize that well I could do some damage but I opted to get up rather than get caught in a submission and my opponent's been very aggressive he's frying these leg kicks which I'm checking very often so I'm looking to see if there's an opening so I could potentially drop my opponent I mean whoever gets the knockdown first is going to win the round unless they get a finish I believe we both know that so 
trying to be careful. I mean, I know his chin health isn't in the greatest position and mine isn't, so I need to pick the shots that I can take and pick the shots that I know will drop him. And as you can see there, that uppercut drops him. And I put on a bit of pressure here, and he goes for the submission again, which is uh, very annoying, but, you know, that's that's my opponent's fight style. And I'm fine here because I know I'm going to get out, and the main thing is I got the knockdown before that, so I know that this round is also mine. And... If I see out this round, I'm going to win by decision. So, I don't mind if he gets me in this submission. I know I'm going to get out. I know I'm going to wind up on top with a stamina advantage. And again, I opt to get up. Where I know I've just dropped him, he's, his health isn't going to be in the greatest position. I feel like I can get another knockdown if I need to. And as you can see, he's going for that spinning back fist, which is, just does so much, so, so much damage. So, I need to be careful not to get caught by that. I know a lot of times I try to duck it in the past. I end up getting caught when it hurts. As you can see, he's shooting for a takedown. He knows he needs something. There's only a minute left in this round. So it's a minute till victory. And as you can see, I'm controlling the center of the octagon using my distance. And I'm doing this to establish that, okay, if, if you want to get close to me, you're going to have to throw a big strike. And if you do, I'm going to punish you on the way in. And my opponent's not really having an answer for it. He's backing away. My opponent needs to push the pace to get a knockdown or submit me. He has to finish me within these next 30 seconds and he goes for that same submission again i'm not worried about it i've got out all the other times so i'm going to get out again if anything this does me a favor because it runs down the clock he probably should have looked to go for a knockout potentially or a tko that would have been his best bet considering my head health but he opted to go for the same submission the time runs out and we're going to see what the judges decided so i felt very confident that this was going to be my fight i felt like i had done enough in round one and round three and fortunately the judges agreed so i ended up winning even though my opponent had sort of a very toxic style so i ended up going to i get promoted to the next division so i'm going to show you the scorecards now and as you can see that's the overall statistics very close but round one i'd say is definitely mine Round two, definitely my opponents. Uh, round three, I'd say is mine also. And then you've got how the judges scored it 29 28, so judges agreed. So that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.